Bible camp. Welcome to the Bible camp. Welcome to the Winter Bible camp. Hi Saints, we're the Ting family. This is Priscilla. Hi. I'm Daniel. This is Logan and Katie and Mr. Bear. And we meet with the Saints in Elk Grove with the church there. And I uh, hope you all have a fun and enjoyable Bible camp this year. Logan. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. How old are you? How old are you? Three. 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 How old are you, Katie? How old are you, Katie? One. One finger. One. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Melody Yu. I'm from Elk Grove and I'm currently a freshman at UC Davis. Um, I hope you guys enjoy today's story and singing. Bye. Hi, we're, we're the, the Dibble, Dibble family. family. I'm Ryan. I'm Cindy. This is Keisha. And this is Noah. Hope you enjoy the Bible camp today. Hey everyone, let's sing a Bible camp song. Sovereignly raised up a Jewish orphan to become queen to a Gentile king to preserve his kingdom people. The king loved Esther more than all the rest and put the royal crown upon her head and made her queen. For she was the best For Esther did what Mordecai told her As she had when he was bringing her up Let us obey those who care for us Sovereignly raised up a Jewish orphan To become queen to a Gentile king To preserve his kingdom people The king loved Esther more than all the rest And put the royal crown upon her head And made her queen for she was the best For Esther did what Mordecai told her As she had when he was bringing her up Let us obey those who care for us Yes. 
that I can join you today. I'm glad you're enjoying the Bible songs and all the lesson songs. The Bible camp is a great place to be. In the previous lesson, we learned about how Queen Vashti refused to obey the king's command. The king became very angry and decided to take away King Vashti's royal estate and give it to another woman. We also learned how Esther she was raised by her foster father, Mordecai. And Esther learned how to listen and obey Mordecai while he was bringing her up. One day, Esther and many other young women were gathered to be presented to the king. By God's sovereignty, Esther found favor with the people all around her and with the king. King Azarus loved Esther more than all the others and he put the royal crown on her head and made queen. Let's continue the story. One day when Mordecai was sitting in the king's gate, he overheard two of the king's servants planning to harm the king and even to take the king's life. Hey bro, I'm so mad. Oh, oh yeah, it's not fair that king. Uh, what he go replies? This Esther, we need to avenge our king. Yeah, I heard that king got drunken lately. We should um get this chance to get a rid of get rid of him. Oh, that's not good. I, I better tell Queen Esther about it so that she can warn the king. <laughs> Esther, I gotta tell you something. The king is in danger. What? What is happening? At the king's gate, I heard, overheard two of the king's servants planning to harm the king. Somebody's gonna kill you. Are you serious? Of course. Go find out who it is. Yes. Your Highness. After some investigation, Mordecai, he was right about the two guards. Evil plan. The king therefore gave the order to hang the two guards on the gallows. Mordecai saved the life of the king. His act was written and recorded in the book of the Chronicles. Today we are here to witness the promotion of Hammond. Uh, he has been voted for the best governor of the year in the past 10 years and no other governors in my kingdom can beat his record. I will make Hammond above all the princes in my kingdom. All you people bow down to me right now. Do it now. Because of the king's command, everyone had to bow down to Hammond when he passed by. But only Mordecai hey, you, refused down. to bow down because he worshiped only God. Never. Get up, get up, come on, come on. No, I'll never bow down yeah. to you. Never. Hey, why don't you follow the king's command? The people no, around I Mordecai kept hey, telling on, him, man. bow hey, down on, to man. Haman, hey, day on, after day. However, Mordecai did not follow the king's command to bow down to man. And when Haman saw Mordecai that he did not bow down. Mm, furious! Haman was filled with rage. Like Mordecai did, don't bow down. We honor God, so don't bow down. Though Haman plotted to kill all the Jews, Mordecai stood strong, Haman would lose. We love the Lord, so don't Don't bow down, we honor God, so 
don't bow down. No Haman plotted to kill all the Jews. Mordecai stood strong, Haman will lose. We love the Lord so. Here comes the king's decree. Destroy, slay, and annihilate all the Jews, both what? young and old, children and women, in one day that is the 13th day of the month, Adar, and take all their stuff. No way. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Oh, should we run away? Now, when Mordecai learned all that had been done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes. And he went out into the midst of the city and wailed loudly and bitterly. Why? Why is this happening to us? Why? Why is this happening to us? Oh, God, God save Jesus. us! and throughout every province, wherever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was a great mourning, great mourning among the Jews, with fasting and weeping, wailing, many lay in sackcloth and ashes. Hey everyone, I'm Hatak. Get it? Hat. Hat. Mordecai, what happened? Why did you not accept the clothes from the queen? Do you not like it? I do like them, but I'm very sad and bothered by the king's decree. I found out that Haman paid a lot of money to the king for the destruction of the Jews. That's why I'm wearing sackcloth. Here's the king's decree. See, I got proof here. King Ahasuerus, please let the decree be written for all the provinces to destroy all the Jews. I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to you and your men in charge of your affairs to destroy all the Jews. What? 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 This is unbelievable, dude. I know, right? Hey, I'll text you all the proofs I got. And please tell Queen Esther about it so she can go to the king to make a request for all the Jews. All right. Let me FaceTime Queen Esther. Your Highness, Queen Esther, do you have a minute to talk? Yes, you better be quick. My internet connection is not stable and I got frozen a lot. Tell me what Mordecai told you. Back in those days, there was a strict rule about visiting the king. One could not come into the king's inner chamber unless the king invited him in. If you came in to see him, on your own will, you could be put to death unless he decided to spare you. Esther, even though you're a queen living in the king's palace, you're still in danger. Your life is not spared because you're a Jew. Only you can save the lives of our people. You're the only one who could talk to the king and reverse the decree. Perhaps this is why God made you the queen, to save the children of Israel. This matter is really serious. I will go in and talk to the king. At the same time, please gather all the Jews in Susa. Tell them not to eat and drink for three days. I will do the same before I talk to the king. Pray for me. That would be great. And then Queen Esther risked her life. Though she might die, she risked her life. Mordecai told her about the plan To kill the Jews throughout all the land She'd seen the king which Risked her life And the queen Esther risked her life Though she might die, she risked her life Mordecai told her about the plan To kill the Jews
shield and choose through love all the land. She'd see the king witch. Missed her life. Esther, she listened to Mordecai and obeyed his word to talk to the king. This was very risky because according to the rule, remember, no one could see the king's face, his inner court, without being called by the king. Yet Esther was willing to cooperate with Mordecai and to risk her life to go in to talk to the king about the decree to kill all the Jews. Esther was cooperative. Esther was willing to risk her life. Hey, Esther, my beloved queen. What's up? You look sad. Tell me what you want, my love. I will even give you half of my kingdom. If it pleases the king, let the king and Haman come today. I have prepared a feast for you. Your request is granted. I'm hungry. Let's eat. When the hour draws, you stand for God. Children, today you can learn from the story how Esther listened, cooperated, followed her foster father Mordecai. You also can follow God like Esther did by obeying your parents. When your parents tell you, make your bed in the morning, you simply say, yes, mom. It's good to build up a proper character like Esther so you can be useful to the Lord in the future. Now let's hear from some of your experiences. Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm a seventh grader. You know, honoring God is kind of complicated, but uh, obeying your parents is the beginning of honoring God. An example, my mom asked me to do an hour of math and an hour of Chinese every day. You know, I would rather be playing games or hanging out with my friends or chatting or watching videos, but you know, it's for my own good. You know, it's for my future. So I listen to my mom and I do it. Hi children, my name is Samia and today I wanted to share these verses with you. In chapter 6, Ephesians, Verses 1 to 3, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on earth. So whenever my mom asks me to clean the plates, and sometimes I don't want to, I just remember these verses. And remember that these are the Lord's words and that we need to obey them. Bye. What's up kids? We've got some verses for you. Romans 16, 3b through 4. My fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risk their own necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Hebrews 5, 4a. And no one takes the honor upon himself, but only as he is called by God. Hi kids, this is the end of Bible Camp today. Hope you had a good time and come back tomorrow for more singing times and Bible stories. See ya. See you tomorrow.